All right, guys, Joe Coast coming back at you again today. I had a little bit of a request from uh, Plutunda40. He uh, wanted to see my reloading stuff. Now, since I got my shed back, well, I had a garage, had to take it down because it was uh, it was kind of collapsing. So now I got built myself a man's shed. So it's Sunday morning, actually Sunday afternoon. It's a little cold. I'm outside in the shed and uh, I just got some bullets in from uh, Rocky Mountain Reloading. I want to do a separate video on those. And uh, he mentioned about a week ago that he wanted to see what I use for reloading. Now, since I got everything set back up in the shed again, I figure I'll give you guys a quick look at what I use. Now, it's still a little bit of a mess because I still got to put some shelves up over here for like all the cleaning shit that I got. So, here you go. Let me give you a quick look at uh, what I use to reload. Now, today I'm actually reloading some uh, 9mm. I got some 45 on the way, so it's going to be a little nice relaxing day of uh, reloading. So let, let me give, give you guys a quick look. Alright guys, here's a quick look at uh, my setup. Uh, like I said, I just have this small little area to work with. Because now I'm in the shed and not a garage. Uh, I'll leave a link to the video I did prior on this stuff once before. But here's a little update, I guess you would say. Still still have the uh, Lee 4-hole classic uh, Tor press. Now I bought this with the kit. You know, it came with you know the press small and large pistol primer holder um, 9 millimeter um, Jesus Christ I can't the dies holy shit drew a blank on that one you know these were separate um, it came with the powder measure now the powder measure came with the uh, the discs but I bought this uh, micrometer which actually works really well because of this dial you could dial it in exactly how much you want so it's not like with the disc where like it varies this thing is actually pretty damn accurate uh... like i said the, you know, the powder measure came with it then right over there i got some 45's waiting i got the 45 dies all set up right, waiting to go and i just gotta buy another uh... powder measure and micrometer for this thing and uh... it also comes with the uh... the riser so that when this thing spins around it actually cl clears the uh... You know the primer holder, and it also came with the scale. And where the hell did they go? But they also came with like the the uh, the reaming tools. Actually, all that stuff's in that box back there. I forgot. I put it all in there. It also came with the case lube also. But here's some uh, you know some brass. This is the powder I'm using right now, which is the uh, CFE pistol. It's, you know it's good for nine, thirty-eight super, forty Smith and Wesson, forty-five ACP. Um, Here's a batch that's done already of a uh, 9mm using this powder. I already did a thousand rounds of that and I've shot about 400 out of that of that stuff and it works really, really well. And basically I'm just using some uh, Winchester small pistol primers. Now with this, these are you know some bullets left over from my last batch and I just got these the other day from uh, Rocky Mountain Reloading. I'll do a separate video on this stuff because these are actually different than those. These I think they say they're hard match bullets and these are I don't even know if they sell these anymore but these were considered their seconds and they said like they might have like small minor cracks in the uh, plating or some little dings or blemishes I if you get a good look at them like I said I'll do a separate video on that I didn't see really anything wrong with them and they work they, they work very well it's a little cold in here I'm starting to freeze up and here's my PPS hey Eric um, it's a flat dark earth and 9mm you want to trade something for it Maybe we'll work something out. No? Okay. I tried. Oh, and uh, this is actually from Mario Mosin, since he mentioned it on the blog radio Friday night. My uh, six hour P224 and 357 SIG. Isn't she a beaut? And I'm actually got it right now in a VETA holster, trying it out. So, And that's also a VETA holster. So enough of that jibba jabba and uh oh yeah the other thing i forgot too is i uh, the uh hornady case tumbler uh it works great you know um not as good as the wet tumblers which now i'm actually considering getting but for the amount of reloading i do it's uh i don't need it just yet but 
right now what I have in there, I have some corn cob media and some crushed walnut shells, or something like that. Yeah, it's all walnut and uh, the corn cob in there. So, right now, like I said, space is a little tight until I build those shelves above here, but... Oh yeah, and the other thing I do is, you know, get like one of these little, uh... Kate, uh... What is it? Like, you put put on the wall, I got two screws there, so basically, you know, just put it there and... I'll just drop all the good bullets in there and just dump it into the can. Other than that, nothing special here. So, uh, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I guess I'll get back to uh, my reloading. Because it's cold as hell and I want to get this over with. Alright, guys, I'll talk to you later.